In this video I'm going to show how you use small rare earth magnets to create a hand crank generator that can light up a few LEDs. This is the design I came up with. What's unique about this generator is that it doesn't use a gearbox to increase the rotation speed of the magnets. It's simply direct drive. The way it achieves this is just by having a lot of coils with a lot of turns wired in series so that at the rotation speeds that your hand can produce, it actually produces enough voltage to light up a few LEDs or maybe even charge a small battery. So this wheel in the middle is where the magnets are going to be installed. It's important that as you go around the rotor, your magnets have alternating polarity. For the drive shaft, I cut up an old coat hanger and I soldered on this little stub which will go in the notch on the rotor to keep it from slipping against the shaft. Next I created this simple jig to wind the coils up on a drill. There's almost 2,000 windings on each coil, so you definitely don't want to do this by hand. Next, I glued down the end of the coil and carefully took the top off of the jig. I also glued down the windings on the end to make sure they don't go anywhere. Here's what happens if you don't glue down the windings. Next I test to see how much voltage one of the coils can produce. Looks like the best we can do here is about 0.2 volts, which isn't enough to light up LEDs, which take at least 0.7 volts. The solution to this problem is to put multiple coils in series so that their individual voltages add up. I made seven coils before I ran out of magnet wire, so I'm just going to go ahead and test the generator with what I've got so far.
Alright, looks like we get over one bolt pretty easily with seven coils. So, once I've got the full 18, I should be able to generate up to three volts. A few days later, I got more magnet wire and finished the rest of the coils. With all the coils attached, it was starting to look pretty nice. So next I bolted both of these plates that hold the coils together with the ring carrying the magnets in between. The rotor turns really smooth, so far so good. Next I checked the voltage of the second set of coils. Then I connected both sets of coils in series and did a voltage check with both of them together. There's definitely plenty of open circuit voltage, but let's see if we can get it to work with a load on it. The first load I tried was some blue LEDs. The LEDs were wired anti-parallel, so that one LED would take up one half cycle of the alternating current, and the other one would take up the other half cycle. That's why you see them flickering at different times. Alright, two LEDs worked with no problem. Let's try eight. You have to keep it going pretty fast to keep the LEDs lit, but overall I'd say it does the job. Let's see how it looks when I run it in the dark. If I flick the crank real quick, the lights seem to get even brighter. For a first attempt, I'm pretty impressed with this. In the future, I'm going to use bigger magnets and a gearbox to make the rotor go even faster, and then we'll actually be able to generate some usable power.